Hello everyone. Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about bcrypt password encoder. bcrypt is a password hashing function. bcrypt is a password hashing function. Let me start look into the bcrypt password encoder and how it is implemented. Here I am already having the application so called library management system. In that library management system application, I, I clicked on librarian controller. Here I am having the librarian controller. In that librarian controller, we are encoding the raw password. If we see here, we are encoding the raw password with the reference of bcrypt password encode as we have injected it see here i have already injected the bcrypt password encoder class and by using the reference of bcrypt password encoder i have encoded the raw password in this step see here it is here i have encoded the raw password and also we have defined the bcrypt password encoder as a bean in our config class. In the web security config, in order to avoid the further errors or exceptions, I have already defined the bcrypt password encoder bean and annotated this method with at the rate of bean so that this bean will be created at runtime to avoid further issues and exceptions and it will be created by the IOC controller at runtime and injected at runtime here I have already run the application. The application has started running. And if you look into the console, we will find the encoded password. See here. This is the encoded password. Encoded password. encoded password this is the encoded password let me discuss in detail about how this 60 character string has been divided let me discuss in detail Here, this is the encoded password, 60, 60, 60 characters encoded password. And this encoded password has been divided like this. First two, first dollar symbol, after the 2A and after the dollar symbol. These, these four characters has been mentioned as hash algorithm identifier this is the hash algorithm identifier this is the hash algorithm identifier and after that we have the number after dollar symbol we have the number 10 this number 10 has been mentioned as the cost factor in order to strengthen the hashing password in order to strengthen the hashing password, 
we will have the rounds that means we will have the in, later we will discuss in detail about the about the rounds we have the we have some rounds so called rounds in order to strengthen the password in order to strengthen the password and after that we have the 22 22 characters 22 characters that characters has been called as the salt it is a 16 byte 128 bit salt these 22 characters has been considered as the salt base 64 encoded to 22 characters and after the 22 characters we have 31 characters those 31 characters has been actually considered as a hashed version of the plain text the plain text that we have entered in the password that has been hashed that hashed version is is the 31 characters this is all about the decrypt encoded password and if we came back if we came back means oh if we click here on the encode encode method and open the implementation see here this encode is the method if we place the cursor and press the control we can find its implementation so called encode is a method encode is the method which is taking the raw password as an parameter argument encode is the method if the password doesn't exist if it is null it will throw the illegal argument exception that password cannot be null that means in the librarian controller if we doesn't get the raw password or if we doesn't enter the raw password it will throw the raw password cannot be null as an illegal argument exception as we have already discussed about the 22 characters this is salt hashed salt here if you look it into it get salt get salt method we have generated the salt if we get inside the we get inside the here in this is the get salt method it, it is written in the salt if this is not null generated it will generate the salt in the generate salt method it is a static method and it is written in the string let me open that it is written in the string if you look into the, if you look into the condition the password prefix must start with dollar 2 it should start with the dollar 2 it will start with the dollar 2 the prefix must be start with the dollar 2 and this is the caret the caret method in the strings concept it will show the index position so in the second index if it is not equal to a and in the second index if it is not equal to y in the second index if it is not equal to b that means after dollar 2 it should be a or y or b if those characters are not there it will throw the invalid prefix that means the password prefix must start with dollar 2 dollar 
to and at the second index position it should be y or b a or y or b otherwise it will throw the invalid prefix error to strengthen the password it should be greater than 4 and less than 31 otherwise it will throw the invalid log rounds and this generated salt in the static method which returns the string which returns the string that method is called here this whole completed raw password and the salt has been called and hashed and this password is has been hashed that we will discuss how it has been hashed the password it has been hashed for example see this if this is the static method and inside that if the salt that means the 22 digits the 22 characters uh, if it is null it will throw the salt cannot be null illegal argument exception <laughs> it should not the salt length should not increase above the 28 if it, if it has been increased about 28 characters at the digits, it will throw the invalid salt. And also, that salt at zero at index position, that means at the starting index position, it should be dollar symbol. It should be, it should be dollar symbol. At zero at index position, it should be dollar symbol. If at 0th index position, if it is not the dollar symbol, it will throw the invalid salt version. At the first index position, it should be 2. Otherwise, it will throw the invalid salt version. And also, after dollar 2, it should be A or X or Y or B. Otherwise, it will throw the invalid salt revision exception. Like that, this bcrypt password encoder has been encoded and we have discussed the some minor internals of the bcrypt password encoder and how it has been implemented. That's all about bcrypt password encoder.